Welcome to Small Business Saturday. Welcome to Small Business Saturday's video series with your host and my husband. And my dad, Aaron Montgomery. Join the conversation. Let's talk some business. All right. Happy Saturday morning. Happy Small Business Saturday. Hope everybody is doing great this Saturday morning. Welcome back to part four of our five part series where we're talking about developing a business plan. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first three parts. Uh, part three there, we had a couple of uh, little hiccups. So I had to uh, edit the video a little bit and reposted it onto the Facebook page there. So um, check that out again if you haven't had a chance to go check that out. But uh, I'm looking forward to uh, having this discussion today. We're almost there. I'm super excited about this whole thing. It's been great, and I appreciate everybody's participation. Um, real quick, before we get started, I do want to, uh, a little reminder here, this is going to be your last chance to uh, fill out a survey that I've had open for a little while, and the uh, reason to spend your time doing that is you have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card. and. Uh, the survey is going to help me develop a, a digital marketing training session for you guys. So the last day to uh, fill out that survey is going to be next Thursday, September 13th. So um, make sure you head over there. Uh, the link is right there. It's bit.ly survey from Aaron. So you can uh, check that out right, right down there. So um, again, I, it, it appreciate everybody's feedback so far, but I, I want you guys to get an opportunity to be part of this. I'm really excited about bringing us some new content and we're just building and developing and, and moving along. So um, good stuff there. How are we doing? Everything good over there? Okay. We had a little few bit of hiccups yet this morning. I don't know if it's just the uh, weather or, or what happened, but we had to kind of restart. So that's why we're a couple minutes late, but uh, no big deal. We're going to dive right into this. All right, so today in part four, we're going to talk about goals and milestones. Um, in part one, two, and even three, you know, we were really talking about a lot of big picture stuff, kind of defining things, you know, defining our why and the people. And even in the marketing plan, we were kind of defining who our targets were. And, you know, last week in number three, we kind of sniffed a little bit kind of the goals and milestone stuff. Um, but really today is the day we're going to get into the brass tacks of, of really starting to lay the pathway to success. And, uh, you know, with these goals and milestones, that's what's going to take us from point A to point B. So a lot of times, Cheryl, good morning. Thank you for uh, checking in this morning. Hopefully you are doing awesome this weekend. And um, uh, I'm going to be with uh, Cheryl next week, I think. I think we're still on track and uh, I'm going to be in her video. So I get a chance to come chat with her. I can't wait for that. I think that's on the 11th of September over at her um, Sublimation for Beginners and Beyond Facebook group. So uh, go check in on that and uh, look forward to having an awesome conversation with Cheryl next Tuesday, I think that is. Yeah, Tuesday the 11th. Oh, the time two o'clock my time, maybe central, maybe it's two o'clock. E no, yeah. Three o'clock Eastern. I don't know. I'll get it right. Cheryl, you, you let us know, but uh, <laughs> if we are still on, maybe uh, we're not quite ready for that. It, I know you've been busy as can be lots of stuff. Lots of awesome stuff. In fact, Cheryl, I saw your, uh, saw, saw uh, email come across from A and E and I think you kind of told me about this, but I was super excited to see you are on their committee of uh, technical committee as the sublimation person. So uh, kudos to Annie for recognizing your skills and, and good job by you. But uh, anyways, all right, I'm going to get back on track here because uh, and what I was just about ready to talk about is what really disrails like me chasing shiny objects around um, what, what kind of disrails our journey is a lot of times we'll get stuck in the ruts and the dips and the, ugh, you know, everyday business life stuff. You know, we had a bad week, uh, you know, we didn't get enough sales or whatever that bad, you know, maybe we made a big mistake and it cost us a ton of money. You know, maybe we are spelling, we spelled something wrong and we had to redo 300 shirts or, um, you know, we learned a valuable lesson on setting our customers' expectations, or, or maybe we just had a really bad Apple customer uh, or set of customers that, you know, these things happen. These are 
parts of everyday business life and and they can really wear on you they can get you kind of down and into the ruts or you know one of the other things that will disrail people a lot is is fear you know fear of kind of moving forward honestly and and i don't know if i put this out there or not but i am terrified constantly about doing these things you know this is um my livelihood you know my wife helps out you know this is my family so i am terrified half the time about half the things that i do but i've learned that by setting some goals having a clear vision having that great why that we talked about in part one and and all of the other things that we've talked about when i have those things i can overcome those fears or i can overcome those ruts or those you know just rough deals that get me there you know so the big mistake that we all make though is that we think that getting over those ruts or, or getting past those fears we just got to turn up the willpower we're just going to sheer willpower and self-discipline i'm just going to make myself do this probably not going to happen it's just no matter how hard we try most of us don't have that kind of willpower yes we can do some things but over a long course of a business you're never going to be able to use your willpower we're going to end up on the couch we're going to end up you know doing the netflix and chill thing and then you know we've spent our whole day wasted on mindless tv shows and we get up at the end of the the day there and we go oh i'm such a terrible person i'm flogging myself like crazy and just did a horrible job. Um, and and we, we think that we're bad business owners, but we're not. You're, you're not. If that things those things happen to you, those things happen to me. You're not a bad person. You're not a bad business owner. That's just human nature. Our biology is to be driven by our emotional impulses, um, especially when there's a lack of clear goals. So we have to make our goals really clear. Um, we have to basically trick our brains into desiring the goals because we're seeing them. We're desiring those goals over our basic instincts, which are basically to chase dopamines. Um, I listened to a really great podcast uh, last week where they talked about dopamines and, and understanding that. And, and we're basically just chasing either abundance, something that's new, something or, or running away from our fears. Um, you know, so that's what what our body's biology wants us to do. So we've got to do some things to trick our brain here. Um, and uh, I'm going to pop something else up here that I want you guys to go check out. But a great trick that I learned in this whole thing, it was from a book called Taking the Stairs. The author is Rory Vaden. If you go to that link, it'll take you to the Amazon there uh, where you can pick up a copy of the book. I think it's on Audibles and uh, Kindle and all sorts of stuff. And it's a great book. And I, I really suggest uh, checking that out. But in that book, I learned some techniques for getting a crystal clear picture of what our goals are. Um, and, and so it starts with, by understanding our brain a little bit here. So our brains think in pictures, not in words. Our brains don't think in words. Um, you know, so our brains are really actually influenced by all of our senses. So we think in pictures, visual and, and senses and smelling and stuff like that. So let's let's take a, a word, for example. I don't know why it came to my mind this morning as I was kind of trying to go through some of the stuff. But I think it's because we're getting closer to that time of year. But the word Thanksgiving came to mind when I say that word to you. Does that make you think of, you know, so if you close your eyes and you said Thanksgiving, do the words T-H-A-N-K-G-I-V-I-N-G come up in your head? Does that that text black and white word come up in your head? I'm going to guess not. I, I just can't imagine most people don't. What I think probably comes up are things like you, you see your family, perhaps. Maybe you hear football playing in the background. Maybe you smell the food. Maybe you smell the turkey or whatever it is that you really enjoy around the Thanksgiving holiday. Maybe you have that feeling of being, oh, my God, I ate too much. <laughs> you get that feeling. So that's the way our brains work. We, we have this visual audio and stuff like that. So what we need to do with our goals is do the same thing with, with what our brain's doing to us when we think of Thanksgiving. Um, so we need to, to, to be able to visualize our goals because our mind, it doesn't actually differentiate between what's real and what's not, especially when we think of it in vivid details. So think about like a nightmare. Why do we wake up? 
it, we, it's not real. It's not really happening. Our brain should be able to know that, but it doesn't. It, it, it's a vivid thing that shocks us. And we wake up from a deep sleep when we have a, a bad nightmare. So our brain works the same way with goals. So Rory's technique from the book that I, I mentioned there, that's st still up down there. Um, I believe it's still up down there. Sorry if it's not. Uh, but his technique is a, a thing he calls VAST, V-A-S-T. So let me just briefly explain this. Um, what VAST stands for is V is visual. What do we see at this point of our goal or our vision? What, what are the things we see around us? And I'm gonna get to specific here towards the end. Um, audio, auditory, what do we hear in that moment? You know, what do we smell? So S stands for, so A was audio, sorry. S for smell. What do we smell? What, what, what is that part of our senses bringing to us? And then touch, feel. Um, T stands for touch or, or, or feel. How do we feel? How, you know, what, what are we touching? Are we feeling? Is there any tactiles or things like that? But it also could be, you know, like I said, are we stuffed? Do we feel over full or do we feel joy? Do we, you know, what, what are the feelings, the touchy things there? So, um, so that's the technique that you can use to really kind of visualize your goals. So think about your goals, but then think about them in that way. You know, what I like to do in this instance is go, okay, I write out what my goal is and then I read it and I memorize it as, you know, if you're reading one goal, it's pretty easy to memorize pretty quickly, but just long enough. So now I can close my eyes and I just start repeating that goal in my head and I let those sensory things come to mind. You know, what am I seeing around me? What am I, you know, all those things that we just talked about there. So that's, that's the goal part. We figure out how to really clearly see our goals. The next thing that I talked, that I wanted to talk about today was I said goals and milestones. So a lot of times people think those are interchangeable and, and they kind of are, but they are also a little bit different. So milestones, um, some people might call them objectives, um, but basically the milestones are specifics about how you're going to get to those goals. So if the goal is a place you want to be, the milestones are the uh, ways that you're going to get to that goal. So um, basically, these are your steps to the path of success. Now, how are we going to do this? Um, I'm going to have another piece popped up here. So SMART goals, we've talked about this a ton throughout this series, and I'm going to send you back to my video one more time. And and, and I know it's a broken record, and but it's something that we truly believe in. My, my wife and I truly believe in this as a way to define our goals and to be able to achieve our goals. Um, so I'm going to just go over them one more time. Promise. No, I, you know what? I don't promise this will be the last time. There'll probably be lots of other times, but hey like I said, I think it's worth it. So let's, let's go over a smart goal one more time. Uh, smart equals specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and trackable. So those, those five words make up a smart goal. Um, and, and by having a smart goal, you actually accomplish both things, your goals and milestones, because it's going to have your goal and you're going to have that clearly defined by using the vast method that we talked about there earlier. Um, but you're also going to have the objectives, the milestones because of those things, the specifics, the measurable, the achievable, relevant, trackable, you know, and those are going to take you to success. Um, so I, with all that being said, I want to give you a quick example. If anybody has any questions, comments, feedback, anytime, please bring them my way. Like I said, I'm easily, uh, chased around by shiny objects and, and my wife will get my attention. Um, so let's do an example. All right. We're ready for an example of, of a goal and how we're going to do this. So maybe my goal is to have enough business that I can quit my day job. So I wrote out that goal, memorized it long enough to be able to continue saying that over and over in, in my head. And then I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to start saying that over and over again, have enough business to quit my day job. And I'm going to see what that environment looks like when you don't have to go to work. You know, instead of going into my office, where am I going to visualize how that looks? What, what all is going on around you? You know, what are the people that are there? See those things. Um, and then we want to, what do you hear? Maybe you hear your equipment running. Maybe you hear, you know, 
dryers going. Maybe you hear a little music in the background. Um, you know, what what is it about that space that you've created for yourself now to have enough business to quit your day job? What do you hear there? And then what can you smell? You know, a lot of us are decorators, so we're probably smelling either the heat press sublimation ink, or maybe we're smelling the dryer and the plastisol inks, or, you know, what are the smells associated with that space? Think about those things. And then last thing, let's think about what you feel in that moment. Um, maybe, hopefully, what you're feeling is a sense of accomplishment, some satisfaction that you were able to turn in your notice. Not in a bad way, not, hey, screw off, piss off, boss, but, hey, I'm exploring something that I feel good about, and how does that make you feel? All right, so we've, we've done that with the SMART goal, or I'm sorry, with VAST. Now we need to apply the SMART goal to it. So now we need to get into those five things we talked about. So number one, specific. So what specifically do we need to be able to achieve that goal? So let's just, for example, I'm just throwing out numbers here. Let's say we need $3,000 a month in net profits to be able to quit your day job. So they're specific. Number two, measurable. You know what your true costs are. You've taken the time throughout this business planning, throughout the stages of your, your business there to know your true costs and you can calculate that monthly net profit very easily, okay? So that's M for measurable. It's achievable to get you there. Maybe you only need five new customers to, to get you there. So totally achievable. Um, and then R, my four, yep, four, R is relevant. You have the capacity in your business to add those five customers and your niche has that out there. You maybe barely scratched the surface of what you're doing and you just need to get out in front of some more people to find those five new customers. And then number five, it's trackable. You're able to say, okay, I need those net profits for at least three months straight to feel good about turning in my notice. So there you go. There's an example of it. Not that difficult, you know, all these funny little smarts and vasts and all this other stuff. Don't get caught up in that stuff too much. That's just hopefully an easy way to remember this stuff. But really what you want to do is just clear picture of where you want to head and how am I going to get there? So that's about goals and milestones. All right. Before I want before we get to the homework assignment, as, as you know, if you've been following this for the first three parts, there's always a homework. And again, I hate calling it that, but it's an assignment. It's participatory. So it's not necessarily homework like a bad kind of homework, like my son having to do schoolwork, but he actually loves it, too. So make it like that. Um, <laughs> so anyways, our home before we get there, though, what I want to talk about is, is why we are doing these homework things. Um, the goal here is to help each other be accountable. You know, there's a lot of people, me included, that talk about how important it is to do a business plan. You, if you're watching this, probably think that's important. Um, and there's always tons of talk, but when you dig down, you know, maybe you've uh, had an opportunity to sit down with somebody that's really hardcore about it. You got to do a business plan and then you get enough drinks in them. Maybe they'll admit to you that, yeah, there's been times where they have not done that. We, we've all done that. I, there's been times like I said, I'm doing this right now. And there are times that I have not done a business plan. And, and I find myself feeling like a little bit of a hypocrite here. So the whole part of this, why we're doing this assignment thing is to be able to hold each other accountable. Um, we, we need to work together. We're, we're all after growing and, and becoming better people. And, and, and this is all part of it. So, um, the other part about all these assignments that we've done this will be the fourth one today and then the fifth one next week is that they all become part of your business plan. So you're not wasting your time. Um, this is something you need to do anyways. Why not you know, include my wife and I in on this so we can help each other out? Um, we're going to give you honest feedback and we welcome the same from you because what happens after you send us yours, um, we will get back to you at some point with our part so you can kind of see what we're doing and get a little inside look into what we're working on right now. Um, and, and plus then see how we're doing it. And then we're gonna give you some feedback. We can email back forth 
several times a day. That's fine by me. That's what this is all about. We want to start building that interaction. Um, and then the, another plus to this whole thing, because I really want to get more people involved with this, is at along the way, I'm going to give you some other templates and some other little pieces and parts that will help you build this. And then at the end of the fifth one next week, if you've participated in all five assignments, I'm actually going to give you a business plan template, a complete one, start to finish, the big, big thing. In fact, if you really did it right, you could probably even take that to a bank as well. Um, so I'm going to give you all that. And then on top of that, plus, 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 you know, I feel like I'm uh, selling something on the uh, overnight channels here, but, uh, and get the Gensu knives. But um, no, so the, the, the last perk here is that we're going to give you an exclusive invite to a closed Facebook group. Uh, we're calling it the BPBers, uh, uh, Business Plan Builders. And it's just going to be an opportunity to have like minded people get together, openly discuss things, build a community, support each other. You know, slap each other upside the face when when it's needed, or you know, build each other up when when that's needed, which is probably more so than what's going on. You guys are all going to do awesome things, but we just need a little support to get there. So we're going to have this group for that. So please email me. Go back to part one. Do the homework assignments along the way. Doesn't matter when you do it. Um, you can get started anytime. You don't have to send me one each week. You know, some of you guys have been really great about, okay, this week, here's this, here's this, here's this. Some of you started with number one and haven't done number two yet. That's that's all okay. There's no timeline. There's no grading. There's no, um, so it's not homework in the sense that you're going to get graded on it. And it's not homework in a sense that you have to turn it in at a certain time, send it any time. But right here, Aaron, Mont, uh, Aaron at Montco Consulting is where you want to send that. And this offer is going to be open as, as long as my wife and I are, are participating in, in this part of our business. And best part, the price, free. Okay. It's a win-win. This is this is for, for us too. So don't just think that I'm just giving, giving, giving. You guys give as much to me as I, I as I give to you. And and I love this community. So let's let's keep this going. All right. Wasted enough time there. Let's get to the assignment. And I'll just make sure I get it exactly right because this is really important to me. What is the one goal you need to achieve to motivate yourself to success? Okay. So think about it this way. What is the tipping point for you between saying, I'm done with this. I don't need this business anymore. I don't want to do this business anymore. And, oh my God, this is awesome. I can't wait to continue chasing my passion. So what is that tipping point? And what is the goal right past that tipping point that you need to get to, to be able to say that. Um, some of you might already be there actually, you know, so, so don't, don't worry about that part. If, if you're already there and this is just keeping going, that's okay. What then tell me what the next goal is to get to that next stepping stone that you need. Okay. To get you that next level, or maybe you're, you're pretty close to that already. And this goal is actually a really short term goal. Maybe it's something that you, you say, I've got to do this and it's got to be done by next month. That's great too. Or maybe you're still starting out, you're, you're struggling, maybe you can't see the peak because of the clouds. That's okay too. Maybe this is a long-term goal. Maybe this is two, three, four, five years down the road. And, and those are all okay. Those are all exactly what we're looking for. But the catch is pick one. Second part of the catch is it must come to us in the form of a SMART goal. Again, Aaron at MontcoConsulting.com is the email address you want to use. I'll uh, copy my wife into it when we, when we reply. So you've got both of us and um, it'll be great. All right. Questions? <laughs> Martha missed the time. It's recorded. So go on back. Can't, can't wait to uh, hear your feedback on, on what we talked about today. Um, all right, guys. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, last piece. Just make sure you're signed up for my newsletter as well. Uh, it's going to be going out no later than Monday. I'm really close. Might actually try to wrap it up after we're done here. So just sign up for my monthly newsletter. Try to share tips, tricks, some things that I don't give you here. Um, some of the blogs, some of the things that I've read, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, just just want to be be sharing because, like I said, I get just as much back from you guys, and I really appreciate it. 
All right, Kyleen, we good? Get, can I get the thumbs up? We ready to, to do the, close it out for the day? Uh, we've got, as usual, on a Saturday with a seven-year-old in the house, birthday parties extravaganza. So uh, we're off to uh, Monkey Joe's. All right, guys, have a great week. And I can't wait to talk to you during the week. So send me the emails, Aaron at montcoconsulting.com.